informant's credibility is important. One, we want to know how do they know the information? Is it from their personal knowledge? Did someone tell them? And how many times has the informant given information to you? And how many times has that information proven to be correct? Also, the types of cases may become important. Not every time an informant gives you information is it going to be correct. And that's okay. But let's say when you go to see the judge to get a search warrant, you say, Your Honor, this is based on information from a confidential informant. Uh, the judge needs to know why you think that informant is reliable. The famous Supreme Court case of Aguilar versus Texas gave us a two-step test for reliability. And this test is used in probably 90% of the cases out there. The Aguilar case said that the informant has to be credible and reliable. So we do that by two ways. Past history. Look at their track record. And we tell the judge, Your Honor, this informant has worked for me for six months and in the last six months he's given me information 12 times on drug cases and nine of those 12 times it's proven to be correct showing that that informant has a pretty good track record uh, the other one is corroboration of information what happens when you have that informant for the first time well you're using that information to corroborate they give you information and you use that, your investigative resources to verify that information. Well, Your Honor, this informant here uh, told me that uh, Nick Aguilar lives at this location that he has. He was there within the last week. He has seen heroin. He has seen marijuana. He has seen methamphetamine and what we're trying to do is say yeah okay there's there is a nick aguilar there is that certain address uh he has purchased this and given and brought it back to us and to verify that credibility we searched him before he went so he didn't have anything on him when he went he came back he had drugs uh, we saw him go into aguilar's house he came out of aguilar's house uh, that's corroborating that information we can also corroborate with other informants. Find, you know, maybe we have other informants that are dealing with this one person and we can use that to corroborate this new informant's information. Again, the informant's basis of knowledge, did they, did they see it? Did they see others? And again, if they saw, if somebody else told them that, so if your informant says, well, my sister said she okay what's the credibility of that person uh, again once we get a step away we're losing the credibility of that person as i mentioned aguilar applies in about 90 percent of the cases but in the supreme court case of illinois versus gates it was an anonymous letter and the anonymous letter told that lance and susan gates were drug dealers that they would go to Florida and get the drugs and that they were just leaving to go get the drugs and this is how it would be done and they could not identify the informant but what the police did again was corroborate those specific facts they checked airline records and sure enough there was a Gates that was flying to Florida when they got to Florida they checked into a hotel registered to a Gates and that two people left the hotel driving a car registered to gates back from florida to illinois and so all the information they could verify in fact occurred the only thing that could not be corroborated was the, the drugs and the court said there in the totality of the circumstances it's reasonable to believe that the the, the police had probable cause to believe that gates was transporting drugs when they left Florida. Informants may be used to commit a crime, and we'll talk more about the ethics of this and some issues. Uh, many times it's the, they use, they're used to buy contraband, 
And the example I gave earlier, you search the informant before they go in, you know how much money they have on them, you watch them go to the location, and then they come back and you search them again, you find what they brought out with them. In other words, what you're able to do now is to go to a judge or if you have to go to court on this matter, what you're going to be able to do is to say that you saw the person go in with nothing and come back with contraband. Uh, committing a crime for credibility requires prosecutive authority. One of the concerns is, is I commit one crime for me and I commit one crime for you. And you have to be careful with that because you are authorizing someone to commit a crime. You need to make sure your prosecutor is behind you on that because there are some things that the court may, the government may say, no, we're not willing to go that far to prove the credibility of this informant.